Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from CyberLab and today I will show about Netboot X, Y, and Z. So before we start to explain what you're gonna use or how you're gonna use the system, I'll explain what they can replace for you. So in the past, if I wanted to install Ubuntu, I go directly in the website for Ubuntu, download the system, flash in a flash drive, use this flash drive to install in my computer. After, if I want to use Clonezilla, I will need to do the exactly the same process and any other application or any other open system I need to do exactly the same steps. And in this way I need to have more than one flash drive if I want to save time or I need to have uh, record few times in the same flash drive. What is a little bit annoying and not necessarily will have the latest revision all the time. With this netput they will download everything online and that you guarantee that you have the latest revision. Also, you have all the application only one place, so you don't need to worry to look for different operating systems, or you don't need to worry to look for different applications. You only have one flash drive with everything, start inserting the computer, and that's it. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain how you can use this image, let's go to website for netboot X, Y, and Z and try to go for the basics. So here in the website, they give introduction how it work. And if you look, it's quite basic view. But the interesting thing that you can have different options. You can have a Linux network install, what it's uh, basically live images. You download directly for the website this image and you're gonna use it. You can have uh, live CDs, that uh, means that you're gonna only run that image, but you're not properly install it. It means that if you want to try your present system, but you're not committed to install it, or you don't want uh, to have all your system replaced for that system, you can only try it and if you like then you can go to the install. You can have another utilities and you can have a different kind of supports. So first thing, before we go for step by step, we're gonna start to look how we can download the image. Here, if you click in download, you have different options of download and different images that you can do. You can use for Raspberry Pi, you can use for ARM, you can use for 8664 bits and continue on. What we're gonna use is this first one because I'm not using the ARM system. I use only 8664 and this one will work either for legacy computer or UEFI system. So they will use the work for really old computers or quite new ones. So you can choose any one of those because I will use a virtual machine. I will suggest you to use this SO. And if you go to Balena Edge to install it or to flash it in a USB stick, I suggest you use the same. But you can choose the other one, it will do exactly the same job. So in this way, we're gonna download this option and we go for my virtual box. Why I'm using virtual box? Because I don't really want to use a proper computer to do it because it's only a video. In this way, I set up my virtual box similar for a computer, what you're gonna have. And if I come here in system, I will have four gigabytes of uh, RAM memory, what's not affect anything. And I have a four cores as well, don't affect anything. What will affect is here in the storage that I read select this live image. Other thing, I put four gigabytes of uh, hard drive, but I'm not gonna use it because in this video, I'm not gonna install any operating system needs. If I come here in the network, I put as a bridge, but not affect anything as well because I'm not using any operating system. So basically what is more important, you have your flash drive insert. And doesn't matter what system, doesn't matter what machine that you're gonna use, they will just work and boot it. So in this way, let's put our computer. Once that put your computer, because I read select this USB to restart automatically, they read open this option. But in your case, you need to press the correct keyboard for select the boot system and select to boot for USB. 
Some Dell computers they will ask for F12, some others computers will ask for Delete, some others computers will ask for F2. So be aware what kind of motherboard that you use to select the correct option. Once that open, if you don't do anything, they will already go for this option to boot from a local hard drive and it will give around 300 seconds. In my case, I will go down and now I can choose what options that I can use. So here I have all the distributions that I can use and here it's all the tools that I can use. If I come here in distribution, the first one I have a Linux network install. It means that any other of those options will download the image and install using the internet. So I can choose, let's say, Debian and I can select what revision that I have. One thing that's good for this one that will have latest revision for you to download and this old revision as well. And if you put it to download, you can select what kind of uh, download option that you want and that they will do everything for you. If you select the graphical option, they will give you step by step how to install or what to install Debian. And once that they finish to install, your system is ready and you don't need to download anything before they will download just in time. If I return here, the same thing will be for the rest of the system. I can have, uh, let's say, Proxmox. I don't need to have the Proxmox record in my flash drive. I can only select to install Proxmox. I can have Red Hat. I can have uh, Ubuntu. In any other of those options, I can only run it or install it directly from this flash drive. If I come back here, Live CDs, I can do a trials for these systems before I install it. So I can select any one of those options and run it and see if it's work for me or if it's good. So it's quite good application. If I come here for my Windows options, it will be a little bit different. So if I select in Windows, how it's work? I can still install Windows, but I need to have the URL to download this image because I didn't copy any image or don't have any image installed for my USB stick they will try to download online. So if I select this one, I need to tell what exactly or where exactly this image is from. If I'm using an original image, I need to go directly in the Microsoft website, copy that image that it's from Microsoft and pass here the link for then I can install it. If I'm using other image, I need to have the correct URL to download it before it starts to run. So basically they will download for my run memory and that's from my run memory they will install my, in my hard drive. So if I come here and return, now we go for utilities. And this utilities that is quite interesting because you can have a lot of options. You can have some boot repair CDs, so they will repair any issue that you have in your operating system. If you want to do backup, you can use Clonezilla. This backup can be used either for an external hard drive or either in the network. You can have uh, antivirus, you can have um, some data recover, you can have uh, some different applications. Have a look in those because each one will have a different functionality. If you wanted to backup only, you go there to Clonezilla. If you wanted to recover data, you go for Riskozilla and continue on. So if I come back, here have all these applications look like network cards, but let's say that you don't want to run in a 64 bits this system. You can come here in architecture and you can change for 32 as well. So you still have the flexibility to run 32 and 64 bits. You're not locked only these 64 bits. And if you wanted to check your network connection or check anything else, here's the time. And in this way, this application can do a lot of things for you. Of course, this is not the only application that can do it for you, have others, and in the next video we'll try to explain these others options that you have. And if you want to have some predefined image already installed in your system, this one, no. You don't have this option, you need to have internet all the time to be able to use this application. If you want to do offline, then we need to have another application, and in this next video we'll try to explain a little bit more about it. So in this way, we arrive at the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed. And see you next time. Bye.